Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play World Series Baseball 98. May 19th, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays have the day off, but the Montreal Expos are hosting the LA Dodgers, so let's, uh, uh oh, it's been a couple of days since I've done this. Is it B? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's simulate the rest of these games. Alright, <clears throat> relatively inactive day in the, uh, well, especially in the American League. Only one game in the American League scheduled for today. A four, a five to four victory for the Angels over the Mariners, and a nine to four victory for the Rockies over the Mets. Three nothing for the Giants over the Cubs, and a, a few uh, one run and two run games here for the rest of them. Alrighty, L.A. Dodgers at Montreal Expos. Next up. For the Dodgers, the center fielder, number 22. All right. Let's do the pitch speed up to all-star. Check the pitching matchups. We got, oh, we got Bollinger again. I think it was Jim Bollinger. I think that was his name. Fairly certain to start with a J. And then we got Martinez. I was to ask if that was Pedro Martinez, but no. Pedro Martinez, I think, is actually on the Expos. Expos, yeah, there he is. Alright. I remember when he was, like, the aced, ace of the major leagues. Anyways. Uh, he's a righty. Alrighty. Let's take care of the lineup. In batting order, we have Mark Rudzanatic at shortstop. Mike Lansing at second base. Decided to move the right fielder up to the third batting position with Sherman Obando, Henry Rodriguez in left field, uh, Sherman Obando in right field, obviously, uh, David Siki in first base, Rondell White in the sixth position in center field, Darren Fletcher behind the plate, Shane Andrews at third base, and Jim Bullinger as starting pitcher. As far as the lineup goes here, as you can see, I, uh, <clears throat> I've switched it up again. Uh, I think the first time we had Rondell White and Vladimir Guerrero, Rondell White was in center, he was up here, Vladimir Guerrero was down here. And then uh, with the Sherman Obando and F.P. Santangelo the last time, uh, so F.P. Santangelo and Sherman Obando did do did have bet, uh, better numbers in terms of you know performance-wise during the game than Rondell White or Vladimir Guerrero did. But I'm switching it up here again. Um, Rondell White has definitely got some speed on his side, but uh, Sherno, Sherman Obando definitely does have some uh, power against right-handed pitchers, so that's why I've got him up here to help fill out the uh, the top of the lineup here. He's a bit slower than than uh, what we'd expect from Rondell White uh, up there, but uh, yeah, we're just testing it out and uh, seeing how it goes. So yeah. Alrighty, and next time I'll probably uh, switch in F.P. Santangelo and Vladimir Guerrero for the. Uh, for their shot at it and see what the, uh, the the verdict is with them. But anyways, so yeah, that's the lineup for right now. So let's uh, play ball. Alrighty, now that we got Bullinger, he's pretty... Uh, I wonder if he's pitched any games since the last time we played uh, played the, played uh, for the Montreal Expos here. Because we've got... Uh, his stamina is like right two below maximum, so we should get a, a, a good... Uh, outing from him today so let's go with that medium curve down and away finally get a chance to see what his batting prowess is like let's go with the medium fastball down and in he does have those fours in the uh the power uh, slot of his hitting so now batting for the dodgers the second baseman number 30. all right let's go with the uh Let's go with a fast curve up and in. Let's go with a slow slider up and in. And let's try a medium fastball down and away. Now that for the Dodgers. The right fielder, number 43. All right, let's go with the fast slider in the outside part of the plate. Fly ball in a left center field. 
And Rondell White and makes the catch. Now batting for the Expo, the shortstop, number four. All right, Mark Grudzelanek. Hundred and one miles an hour. Alrighty, we got one of those pitchers, eh? All right, let's loosen up a bit. <laughs> Driving to center field, all the way to the wall. Ready first, stand up double. <clears throat> Pardon me. Next up for the Expo, the second baseman, number three. Mike Lansing. Right back. Well, not really right back to the pitcher, but you know, hit to the second baseman. <laughs> Diving catch. Number 29. Sherman Obendo. Oh boy. Fastball goes 101 is change up. I'm guessing that it is going like fifth half the speed. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be interesting. Now that for the expo, the left fielder, number 40. Henry Rodriguez. Home run leader in the National League. Yeah, might as well just keep going. It's two hits. <coughs> Pardon me. If the center fielder was going to drop it, that would have been a better outcome. <laughs> have to keep going. Hey. Mike Piazza. Uh, let's go with the uh, let's go with the medium slider, low in the strike zone. It's a routine grounder. Now that for the Dodgers, the first baseman, number 23. Let's go with a medium fastball down and in. Down the left field line. And he flies out to the outfield. Next up for the Dodgers, the third baseman, number 27. Right, let's go with a uh, slow slider in the inside part of the plate. Let's go with a slow fastball down and away. Woohoo! Golfs it into deep center field. It's gone. Now batting for the Dodgers, the left fielder, number 28. Home run number six for Zeal. 423. Part of me wants to say is that, or ask, is that Todd Zeal? Uh, Alright, let's go with, let's go with a medium slider and the down and away. Let's go with a medium fastball down and away. And let's go with a slow fastball up and in. Now that for the Expo, the first baseman, number 21. Ninety-nine mile an hour fastball. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like I'm swinging in time. It's just, well, at least on that one I did, but. Drops it into left center field all the way to the wall. Rounding first. Sliding in a second. He's safe. Now that for the Expo, the center fielder, number 22. Rondell White. Let's send the runner to the third and bunt. And see for third. Oh, got him at third. I should have slid. 
Darren Fletcher. Oh, second, first double play. Pitcher holds a record for the most losses in a season. Let's go Hennessy. Aw, oh, John Coleman. It's like 48, is it? Alright. Let's go with a slow curve over the plate. Another medium curve down and in. Bunts it down the third base line. Out at first. Next up for the Dodgers, the pitcher, number 48. Let's go with a medium fastball on the outside part of the plate. And ooh. into foul territory. Caught. By Shane Andrews. Number 22. Next up is Butler. Let's throw the heat over the plate. Fly ball in the shallow center field. Yeah. Yeah, base hit. <laughs> Tried to get him at first, but. For the Dodgers, the second baseman. Number 30. Let's go with a medium fastball up and in. Runner's going, throws the second for the third out. Shane Andrews. He popped it up. Out. Now that for the expo, the pitcher. Number 50. Here he is, Bullinger. Let's go with the power. Well, fly ball down the right base, right field line. Next up for the Expo, the shortstop, number four. And foul. Line drive in the center field. Fly to the outfield. Now that for the Dodgers, the second baseman, number 30. Let's go with a medium fastball down the pipes. Uh, let's go with a slow curve down and in. It's a routine grounder. Run away. For the Dodgers, the right fielder, number 43. Raul Mondesi. I remember when he used to play for the Jays. Let's go with a slow slider down and away. Let's go with a slow fastball down and away. And let's throw the heat up and in. Round ball. Out at first. Now that for the Dodgers, the catcher, number 31. If I'm not mistaken, I think Mike Piazza had some power in him as well. So let's try a slow, a medium fastball down and in. And to punctuate that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Point taken. Don't pitch to him low and inside. Number <laughs> twenty-three. Sixth home run for Mike Piazza. Four hundred seventy-four feet. All right, let's go with a slow curve over the plate. Let's go with a slow curve down and away. And throw the heat up and in. Now that 
for the Expo, the second paper, number three. All right, uh, Mike Lansing. Thinking about maybe going with a power swing there. Hey, base hit, base hit in a right field. Yeah, Lansing's uh, batting numbers are seven seven five, so he's still got some power in him. Number twenty nine. Sherman Obendo. And back to first. <laughs> Next up, for the Expo, the left fielder, number 40. All right, Rodriguez can tie it up with one swing. Swing and a miss. <laughs> ah, high fly ball in the left field. Slowly down the left field line. <laughs> uh. What? Oh, the game automatically tagged me up. Darn it. Okay. I thought he would just stay there. Let's try throwing the heat down the middle. Uh, let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. And... Let's try a slow slider up and in. Rambo. Short stop throws the first. One out. Now batting for the Dodgers. The left fielder. Number 28. With a medium fastball up and in. Oh, just out of the reach. Mark Rizalenic. Now batting for the Dodgers, the shortstop, number seven. Uh, yeah, Gagne. Let's go with. Oops. Let's go double play. Uh, let's go with a medium fastball down and in. With a slow slider down and away. And let's try a fast curve over the plate. Oh no! <laughs> I was so ready to have to jump for it that, yeah. Ooh, well. Here's hoping I don't make too many of those mistakes this game. Let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. With a slow curve down and in. And let's try throwing the heat up and away. Ground ball. Throws to first. Three out. Next up for the Expo, the first baseman, number 21. Right, I need to get some runs, so let's just try to get on base here. Bunt down the third base line. David Zagi makes it to first. Now batting for the Expo, the center fielder, number twenty-two. Uh, so right now, wait, let's send the runner. Whoa, pitching out, <laughs> going back to first. Probably could have made it, but uh, <laughs> the pitch out threw me off, <laughs> literally. All right, let's try it again. Send him again. Foul ball. Yeah, David Ski is a bit slower than uh, Rondell White, so I want to give him a good head, a good head start. Round ball in the right field, base it, and stays at second. Runners at first and second. Darren Fletcher. Uh, let's just try to get on base here. Sending both runners down the third base, slide in the third this time, out at third, darn. We're not first and second. <coughs> Pardon me. Third Number 11. Shane Andrews. Send the runners. Ooh. Send it back. 
Uh, let's uh, try to calm down a bit here. <laughs> and right to the second basement. Everybody else is safe. Next up, Bellinger. The pitcher, number 52. Ugh. Oh. Gotta relax, gotta relax. And to the first baseman for the third out. Next up, <coughs> for the Dodgers, the center fielder, number 22. Let's throw the heat in the inside part of the plate. Throw the heat down and away. Ball one. Uh, let's go with a medium curve down and away. Yeah, let's try a slow slider up and in. That's a foul ball. Try throwing the heat down the middle. Right back to the pitcher. Now batting for the Dodgers, the second baseman, number 30. Uh, let's go with a slow fastball down the middle. So a slow fastball down and in. Let's try a fast slider down and away. Round ball, throws to first, two out. Now batting for the Dodgers, the right fielder, number 43. Alright, let's go the slow curve up and away. Let's go the slow fastball down the middle. Nice catch. Yeah, it's twice Shane Andrews has come through for us. The short stop, number four. Mark Rudzelanek. Ah, should have bunt. Need some runs. Now that for the expo, the second base number. Three. All right, Lansing. Let's just try to get on base. We need some runs. And safe at first. <coughs> Pardon me. Next up for the expo, the right fielder, number twenty-nine. Let's try it again, Sherman Obando. So the runner. Let's bunt. Nice bunt down the third base line. On. Oh, didn't quite make it to first. For the, Expo, the left fielder, number 40. Henry Rodriguez. Swing and a miss. Golfs it in the left field. Yeah, just keep going. Oh, and it drops in for a base hit. Yeah, running. Hey, one run scores. Rodriguez gets a double. Now that for the expo, the first base number twenty-one. David Sagi. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's go with contact. Down the first base line. No. Well, we got one run. For the Dodgers, the catcher, number 31. Cut the lead in half. Let's go with a fast curve down the middle. It's a routine grounder. Oh. Next up, for the Dodgers, the first baseman, number 23. Let's go with a medium fastball on the outside part of the plate. Quick one. 
the slow fastball on the inside part of the plate. Ooh. High fly ball on a foul territory. <laughs> and let's try a slow curve up and away. <clears throat> Pardon me. Foul ball. Let's try a slow curve up and away again. It's a root ball. Next up for the Dodgers, the third baseman. Number All right, um, throw the heat down and away. Ball one. Let's go with a slow curve down and away. Also done a shallow center field. That's eh. almost, but no, base hit. For the Dodgers, the left fielder. Number 28. Yeah, let's go with a medium slider in the inside part of the plate. Ball one. Keep an eye on the runner. Let's go with another medium slider inside part of the plate. Let's go with a slow curve down and in. Bunts it down the third base line. Got him at first. Next up for the Expo, the center fielder, number 20. All right, Rondell White. Let's try to get on base. Ooh, missed the bunt. And ah, darn it, gonna have to swing. Uh. Field base hit. Next up for the Expo, the catcher, number twenty-four. All right, Darren, let's send the runner and bunt. Down the third base line. Rondell White is safe. Darren Fletcher is safe. Now that for the Expo, the third baseman, number eleven. It's a shot. Ah. I, th didn't he catch it? Number fifty-two. That was a face palm and a half. <laughs> uh. I thought for sure he caught it. And pops up. Which is why I sent the runner back. Now that for the Dodgers, the shortstop, number seven. How you doing, Bollinger? Still got a bit left. It's the top of the eighth. Hmm. We'll get some... Yeah, let's start warming somebody up, just in case. What do we got? We got Hermanson. And... Uh, another situation where we're probably going to have to forego the closer. Pardon me. Warm up Hermanson and Dahl. Let's go with a medium fastball down and in. Let's go with a slow curve over the plate. The whole point of me trying to play these Montreal games is to help ensure that the you know I can nudge them a bit further into you know being able to be in the playoffs. But you know, <coughs> pardon me. Medium fastball down and away. But the number of fails this game <laughs> on my part. Now that for the Dodgers, uh, the pitcher, number 48. 
Not giving up until the last pitch. Right, let's go with the uh, slow slider up and away. And let's go with a fast curve over the plate. The added benefit of playing the Montreal games as well, whenever the Jays get the day off, is it adds a bit of variety to the two of the LP as well. So let's go with a medium fastball down and in. Center fielder number 22. I'm probably gonna leave him in anyway. He's got a little bit left, so let's let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. And fly ball to shallow center field. Base hit. Hmm. Now batter for the Dodgers. The second baseman number 30. Let's go throw the heat on the outside part of the plate. Ball one. Darn. This fastball's losing some of it. All right, let's go with a slow curve down and away. Don't want to ask too much of him. Where he's going, throw the second. He's out for the third out. <coughs> Pardon me. And that is likely the last pitch I will have Bollinger throw. The shortstop, number four. Fred Zelanek. Uh, hang on, how's, uh, how are Hermanson and Dahl in terms of batting? Oops. Wrong menu. Oh, Hermanson, okay, well, uh, wait until the end of the, yeah, what's going on here? Um, what happened? I didn't want to do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I, no, stop hitting B. <laughs> no! What? Seriously? Can't go back from that? Well, okay. Who do I want to bring in? We got Ors Orsulek. Or Sulak. Uh, who'd be the best bet against a righty? We've got Chris Widger, Doug Strange. Uh, I'm getting towards Widger. Or we could go with the uh, one of the others. Uh, either Widger or Santangelo. Six five three five four two. Let's go with Santangelo. The pitcher for the Dodger. Number. I hope that doesn't mean Santangelo is going to be the pitcher. <laughs> that would be weird. Oh, really? <laughs> Let's not forget to pull him out of there. <laughs> Reminds me back to when. Uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe they just went through all their pitchers, but I remember when they, when uh, the Athletics had Jose... Can Was it the Athletics? A Jose Canseco pitch? <laughs> all right. Grudzelanik. All right. Uh, I want people on, on base. Because we're just coming up to the heart of the order. And, all right. Pitcher runs by it. Save it first. Next job for the Expo. The second baseman, number three. Lancing. All right, let's set the runner. Let's bunt again down the third base line. Safe at second. Safe at first. Next up for the Expo, the right fielder, number twenty-nine. All right, Sherman Obando. And foul. In the back. All right, there we go. I got the button presses correct this time. <laughs> now that for the Expo, the left fielder, number 40. Cranks it deep to center field. 
three run home run by for Henry Rodriguez. Whew. That was close. No, it's not over yet, but whew, we finally got one. 18th home run for Henry Rodriguez, 435 feet. Whew. All right, see if we can add to that. David Siggy. Breathing a bit easier right now. <laughs> Pardon me. Ooh, nice curve. Into left field, uh, well, left center, base hit. Now batting for the Expo, the center fielder, number 22. Let's send the runner in bunt with Rondell White. Down the third base line, runner safe at second, beats the throw to first. Next <coughs> Pardon me. For the Expo, the catcher, number 24. Darren Fletcher. 52 mile an hour changeup. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, I hadn't made up my mind whether I wanted a bunt or not. <laughs> uh, definitely going to swing this time. And swing and a miss, strike three. Next up, for the Expo, the third baseman, number 11. Shane Andrews. Well, even this guy's got some heat to him. Not quite 100 miles, 101 miles an hour, but still pretty close. Uh, why'd I swing at that? And ground ball, the first baseman, at it first. Alrighty. Okay, we'll let you put a, a batter on a bit on the mound. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, cool. That's a cool mechanic that they added to it. It forces you to change the pitcher if you put a pinch hitter in for the pitcher. Cool. Alright, well let's, uh, let's put Hermanson on the mound. Pardon me. So hang on, what's the stamina? Six, two, three. Yeah. I think Dahl might have been a better choice, but Dahl can go longer. I hope. Alright. What? What's going on? Okay, let's see if we can fix that audio glitch there. <laughs> All right, who are we? Who are we facing, Guerrero? All right, let's try slow slider down and in. Ooh, he's got a good slider. All right, let's go with medium fastball down and in. And let's go with a slow changeup up and away. All right, throw a medium fastball down the middle. Now batting for the Dodgers, the catcher, number 31. All right, um, let's go with a medium fastball on the outside part of the plate. Uh, let's go with a slow slider down and away. And let's see if we can get the heat by him up and in. So we're going to miss strike three to end the ball game. Oh boy, that was a close one. <clears throat> Pardon me. For the Los Angeles Dodgers. Two runs on six hits, zero errors. Home runs by Mike Piazza and, again, I'm going to guess it's Todd Zeal. 
Sounds familiar. Butler went two for four. Todd Zeal went two for four. Mike Piazza one for four. And Hollinsworth one for three. That is Hollinsworth, right? Got cut off. <laughs> All right, and those were the hits. Pitching. Martinez, seven innings pitched. One strikeout, zero walks, zero home runs, one earned run. Park, one inning pitched, one strikeout, one home run, zero walks, three earned runs. Park gets the loss. For the Montreal Expos, four runs on 13 hits, zero errors. Perfect. Home run by Henry Rodriguez, four RBIs on the day or night, whatever it may be, since we are in the we were in Olympic Stadium. All right. Rondell White went four for four. Obando 0 for three. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'll probably have to come back and double check for the next game. Uh, two for four for Grudzelenic, two for four for Lansing, two for four for Rodriguez, three for four for David Segui. <coughs> Pardon me. And those were the hits. Fletcher, Andrews, Bollinger, Hermanson, Santana. Yeah, Hermanson and Santangelo didn't get up, so. Fletcher, Andrews, Bollinger, and Obando did not record hits. Oh, wait. Obando. How did he get on pace? Oh, I think that might have been one of the uh, the face palms. Lord knows I caused plenty of them this game. <laughs> All right, for pitching, Bullinger, eight innings pitched, four strikeouts, zero walks, two home runs, two earned runs. Hermanson, one inning pitched, zero earned run, runs, one strikeout, zero walks, zero home runs. And it's not telling me who got the winner or the loss, but I'm guessing... Harbinson got the win. No. Ooh. I wonder. I'll have to double check that to see if it actually recorded Bullinger getting the win because he was. Because I think I ended up pulling him. I ended up having him pulled out before the uh, three run shot from, her, from uh, Rodriguez. I, mean, I suspect that Hermanson gets the save. Because he definitely went in after the fact. So, yeah, I'll have to keep, take a look when I'm editing. And I'll keep an eye on the uh, league leaders here. All right, let's see. Well, the Jays had the day off, so nothing changed with them in terms of batting average. Delgado, Sprague, Mark McGuire, still the top three slugging percentage. Nixon, Sprague, Jefferson, the top three on base percentage. Nixon, Vizquel, and Cora for uh, singles. <coughs> Pardon me. Rodriguez, Edmonds, and Justice for doubles, 20, 19, and 18, respectively. Nixon, Gonzalez, Garcia, Parra for triples, 8, 6, and 5, respectively. Sprague, Maguire, Santiago, 29, 26, and 21, respectively. Delgado tied with Benito Santiago, 21 home runs. RBIs are Sprague and Maguire with 50 apiece, 49 for Joe Carter, 45 for Jim Tomey. Pitching in the American League. Seventy nine strikeouts for Johnson, seventy five for Facero, sixty eight for Andy Pettit. For the National League, uh, yeah, it's 
now take care of the pitchers after. Let's go with the batting first. Batting average in the National League. Bonds, Grayson, Martin. 378, 335, and 331, respectively. Eleven stolen bases for Dion Sanders, eight for Bonds, seven for Young. Bonds, Rodriguez, Bagwell for slugging percentage. Bonds, Grace, Bagwell for on base percentage. Twenty nine doubles for Blouser. Looks like he added multiples that time. <laughs> 18 doubles for Bagwell and 17 for Joyner. Still the Shields, Johnson, and Castillo, the top three for triples. The Shields and Johnson with five and Castillo with four. 18 home runs for Henry Rodriguez, 15 apiece for Sammy Sosa and Barry Bonds. Followed by 14 apiece for Gant and Walker. Still want to say that's Larry Walker. I may be wrong. Uh, RBIs, Henry Rodriguez with 41, Gant with 35, and Bichette with 32. Ruben Sierra still on top with Watts, 25. <laughs> Alrighty, for pitching, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> pardon me, eight wins for Wright, ERA of 2.314, uh, looking for, yeah, where is Bullinger, there is three wins it says there, so I'll have to take a look and uh, see if it recorded while I was editing, so. Let's see. Bullinger with an ERA of 1.500. Uh, let's see. Hey, Tom Candiotti. We didn't get to see him. A pitcher, a pitcher. <laughs> uh, it's cool to see some of the uh, the placeholders uh, on here. I think a lot of the uh, was it Cleveland that had it? No, I think it is Montreal that <clears throat> where I think a lot of the pitchers that are defined as relievers in this game were actually starters for the Montreal Expos. Or who knows, maybe they were starters and they just filled the role of relievers back back in the day. 93 strikeouts for Schmidt, 85 for Cordova, and 82 for Hampton. For losses, let's take a look. Mm. All right, Bullinger, Bullinger, one loss. Okay, so it should be. If it, the game did record him as having the win, at the beginning of the game, he should be a two and one. That's if it recorded it, it recorded as being his third win. All right. Alrighty. At the end of May 19th, 1997, the American League West, Seattle, and Oakland tied for the lead. 22 wins, 22 losses apiece. Texas, half a game behind with 21 wins, 22 losses. And then Anaheim with 15 and 28. That's a tight race. <laughs> uh, I can only imagine what would happen if uh, all four of them finished tied. <laughs> 
Gotta talk about sharing the title. Chop it up into four. Anyways. <clears throat> Pardon me. American League Central. Cleveland Indians, 27 wins, 16 losses. Followed by Kansas City. Tw Royals, 25 and 17. Chicago White Sox, 19 and 23. Minnesota Twins, 18 and 26. Milwaukee Brewers, Brewers, 16 and 26. Got to remember to throw that R in there. Kind of like February. <laughs> Only not. Anyways, in the East, Toronto, 39 wins, 4 losses, followed by Baltimore, 28 and 17, Detroit, 19 and 24, New York, 16 and 27, and Boston, 15 and 28. The National League West, Colorado, 27 and 16, San Diego, 23 and 19, San Francisco, 16 and 26, and Los Angeles Dodgers, 13 and 29. <coughs> Pardon me, again. National League Central, St. Louis Cardinals, 29 and 15, Cincinnati Reds, 25 and 19, Chicago Cubs, 20 and 23, Pittsburgh Pirates, 19 and 25, and Houston Astros, 18 and 26. In the East, Atlanta Braves, 30 and 14, Montreal Expos, 26 and 16, New York Mets, 22 and 21, Florida Marlins, 17 and 25, and Philadelphia. I was about to say Flyers again. <laughs> Philadelphia Phillies, 16 and 28. All right, next time on May 20th, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays are back in action. And in New York versus the New York Yankees for a two game set before getting another day off. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching. And have a good one.